Hey, it's John from 3D Printing World, and today I'm going to show you a little trick when installing your heat thread inserts into your 3D printed parts. By utilizing this trick, you'll be able to install your heat set inserts into your parts perpendicular every time without a jig or a fixture. But if you are interested in a jig, I suggest you check out Pedro and Noe's jig from Adafruit. It utilizes Ender 3 style roller bearings in a counterweight to hold your siren iron perpendicular to your part to help better install them. Um, this trick you won't need any of those components but I would suggest that you get a heat set insulation tip that can be found on Amazon and I'll post a link in the description below. This will help you better start your inserts into your part. You also need a metal, flat metal surface for finishing the insulation of the insert. Um, you could pretty much use anything. I've used the head of a hammer before. What I'm currently using is a piece of cold roll steel that I've cut the length and milled flat on each end. When I'm installing these tips, I like to keep my siren iron uh, pretty cool at 350 degrees F or roughly 175 degrees Celsius. And I do this to give a little more time to uh, start the install of the thread insert to make sure that it's started properly. Here's a close up of the installation tip. It's designed to be used with a ceramic style siren iron like a Haeckel or a Weller. I prefer to use this type of thread insert versus the type with the large knurls on it. They're a little bit harder to find and a little bit more expensive, but I've had really good luck with them. They're designed to go into a hole with a 8 degree uh, taper, but I found that they work perfectly fine with just a 0.2 inch uh, uh, through hole with a uh, 30,000 chamfer. Uh, around the top of the hole. You uh, just need to make sure that you put in this uh, side of the insert in the hole uh, first. I normally start by putting the insert in the hole first and by keeping the soldering iron cool you can see here that it just gives a little more time to get the insert started properly. And what you want to do is stop before flush and then use your flat metallic surface to push the insert the rest of the way in. Here's a side view of the same process. And the other nice thing about this technique is using the flat metal tool, you'll actually flatten any kind of bubbling that you get around the threaded insert. It might look as though that the insert is not pushed all the way in, but that's just because the chamfer is just a little bit too large on this hole. So if we test the results here with a really long screw, we'll see that the insert stayed perpendicular to the, to the uh, part. This technique tends to work every time. The MuleBot here uses a whole bunch of these thread inserts and I'm always designing mechanical assemblies that use them as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. I will pay, place a link in the description for the thread inserts and the installation tip as well. If I can be any help just let me know in the comments below. Until the next one.